first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number three on the topic dice so now we are going to solve some of the questions from type number two so friends listen here before watching this type number two so always learn all the previous lesson and be strong on the basic concepts and then watch this type number two video so first in lesson number one that is an introduction of dice what we learnt is we have seen two different types of dice one is a normal dice that is standard dice and the general dice and then previous lesson in the lesson number two what we have learnt is we have solved some of the questions from type number one so type number one in the previous lesson i'm talking about previous lesson so in the previous lesson in type number one we have solved some of the questions that is based on a single diagram they usually give only one diagram and based upon that one diagram we have to solve the question but here in this type number two they will be giving two diagrams and based on the two diagrams we have to solve the question so friends before solving all the question first you guys need to know there are three models in type number two so first let me take model number one so usually the model number one is there will be no common number in both the diagrams just see here in the first diagram the numbers are one two three on the second diagram the numbers are four five six so in both the diagram there is no common number which is called as model number one so model number two you can able to see only one common number in both the diagrams you can see here three five four one five two so which is the common number here five so five is common in both the diagrams so if there is only one common number then it is called as model number two if there are two common numbers then it is called as model number three so no common number one common number and two common numbers right just see a three and one and also three and one so three and one three and one is common in both the diagram that's what i'm saying two number is common that which that that means model number three and the one common number model number two if there is no common number then it is model number one got it friends so here I am going to solve all these questions by a normal method as well as by a small shortcut techniques. Just listen here, the shortcut that I am going to teach here is which will be common for all the remaining lessons. So if you learn one shortcut properly, then applying that shortcut in all the lessons will be very useful. So that's the reason I am going to teach only one shortcut for all these questions that is based on dice. So now let me move on to the questions that is based on all these three different kinds of models. So now let me move on to this example question 1 that is based on model 1. So what number is opposite to 2? So our target is to find based upon both the diagrams, we have to find which number will be opposite to 2. So friends just see here, we know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there is no number common in both these diagrams. If there is no number common in both the diagram, first what you need to do is, you need to check whether the given dice is a standard dice or a general dice. So 2 plus 1 is what? 3, not 7. 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 plus 4, 9, 6 plus 5, 11, 6 plus 4, 10. So while adding all these any two adjacent faces, I am not getting a total of 7. So if I am not getting a total of 7, then what it is mean? It is called as a standard dice. So the given dice is a standard dice. So now, if I know that the dice is a standard, then we can surely say that if you add the sum of opposite faces, the total will be 7. So our target is to find what number is opposite to 2. So definitely opposite to 2 will be 5. So we can say that, only then we can say that 5 plus 2, the total of 7, which is a standard dice. So we can say that answer for this example number 1, where the opposite to 2 is 5. So for solving this question, we don't want to we don't want to use any shortcuts or nothing because there is no common number in both the diagrams. And second thing, we know that the dice is a standard dice. If it is a standard dice, you know the logic. If you add all the opposite faces, the total will be 7. So that's what I said, the opposite to number 2 will be definitely 5. So only then while adding 5 plus 2, the total will be 7. So answer for this example 1 where opposite to 2 will be 5. So example number 2. So here in this example number 2, we have to find what number is opposite to 3. 
right so first what you guys have to do you have to check whether any number is common in both the diagram so 4 2 3 1 5 6 so there is no number common so if there is no number common if there is a number common then you have to apply the shortcut if there is no number common then what you guys have to do is you have to check whether the given dice is a standard dice or a general dice right just see here while adding 4 and 3 what we are getting 7 so similarly in the dice number 2 6 and 1 is 7 so we can surely say that the given dice is a general dice not a standard dice because if it is a standard dice opposite faces will be 7 if it is a general dice then sum of any two adjacent faces will be 7 so by seeing the diagram while adding any two adjacent faces we are getting a total of 7 so only I am saying that the given dice is a general dice so now what is our target we have to find what is the number opposite to 3 just listen here if it is a standard dice if it is a standard dice we can surely say that what will be the number that is opposite to 3 because if you add the total will be 7 but because here is a general dice we can't able to predict exactly which number will be opposite to 3 either it can be 1 possible or 5 possible or 6 possible 3 numbers are possible that will be opposite to phase 3 so we can say that the number that is opposite to 3 can be 1 or it can be 5 or it can be 6. Because 3 adjacent is 2 and 4. What are all the remaining numbers that we have is 1, 5 and 6. So either 3 opposite can be 1 or it can be 5 or it can be 6. So this will be the answer for example 2. So once here in this model number 1 totally we have solved 2 questions. So model number 1 concept is what? no number is common if there is no number is common then you don't want to use any shortcut you guys have to just see whether the given diagram is a standard dice or a general dice if it is a standard dice finding the answer is easy because you know that opposite faces total is 7 but when you move on to the general dice we can't able to say exactly which number will be opposite to which why because it's a general dice any numbers can be there in the opposite faces so that's the reason saying opposite to 3 can be 1 5 or 6 so now i hope you understood this model number one so let me move on to all the remaining models so example number one that is from model number two so what number is opposite to 5 so our target is to find what number is opposite to 5 so here by seeing both the diagrams you can able to see there is one common number yes or no so the number 5 is common in both the cases so if the number is common in 5 in both the cases any one number or two number is common so don't see the dice as a general dice or a standard dice don't go with all those method so find try to find the answer by using the diagrams if possible or else use the shortcut okay? just see what is the logic behind this so the number is co common 5 here so you can able to see 5 is adjacent to 3 5 is adjacent to 4 5 is adjacent to 1 5 is adjacent to 2 our target is to find which number is opposite to 5 if you just think you can surely say that 5 will be definitely opposite to 6 just why because just see here let me take the white color as 5 right so if you take this white color as 5 where 5 is opposite to sorry 5 is adjacent to 3 and 4 so if this number is 5 then this will be 3 and this will be 4 yes or no adjacent phases so similarly 5 is adjacent to 1 and 2 already we know that 5 here already we have written 3 and 4 so phases remaining these two phases so this must be 1 and this must be 2 so then only we can say that the number 5 is adjacent to 1 2 3 4 so all the phases are covered top phases is covered by 5 and all the remaining phases are covered by the number so only one number is remaining that must be the bottom phase which is number 6 so you can say that the opposite to number 5 will be 6 if you wish you can able to solve all the question in a dice by just thinking on your own it is possible but if you are a beginner if you can't able to think like this then better you can go with the shortcut so the shortcut here is you can able to see just see which number is common so the number 5 is common got it so from the first diagram from this number 5 write the numbers in a clockwise direction so here number 5 then the next number is 4 and the next number is 3 understood or not in the second diagram just see where is number 5 so number 5 is here from this area start writing all the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so 5 2 and 1 so 5 2 and 1 so after writing all the numbers here 
which means right after writing it this denotes 4 is opposite to 2 3 is opposite to 1 5 cannot be opposite to 5 so 5 can be opposite to 6 because 6 is the remaining number so we can say that the number 5 is opposite to 6 so this is the shortcut right if you learn this shortcut then you can apply the shortcut for all the types of questions in the dice but one thing you need to remember is always start seeing which number is common from that common number you have to write all the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction in case 5 is here right you have to start from here in the clockwise direction got it so after writing it which means 4 is opposite to 2 3 is opposite to 1 and 5 cannot be opposite to 5 so the remaining face number will be 6 so only we can say that 5 will be opposite to 6 so example number 2 so what number is opposite to 4 so we have to find which number will be opposite to 4 so here there is no number 4 so you you should not decide that the answer cannot be determined so just see the diagram and check whether any one number is common or two number is common in both the diagrams just see here 1 5 3 6 3 2 so here you can able to see the number 3 is common in both the diagrams so what you guys have to do from number 3 start writing the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so 3 5 and 1 so 3 5 and 1 so similarly in this diagram number 3 is here so from this point start writing the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so 3 6 and 2 so now after writing both the series what it means so 5 is opposite to 6 2 is opposite to 1 so 3 cannot be opposite to 3 so what is the remaining number that we have is 4 so 3 will be opposite to 4 or 4 is opposite to 3 so our target is to find what number is opposite to 4 so opposite to 4 will be 3 so which is the answer for this example number 2 so this model number 2 question that is one number common is very simple and easy because you know if just check which number is common from that number write the remaining numbers in a clockwise direction so after writing in a clockwise direction though this series means the number which number is opposite to which number so 1 is opposite to 2 5 is opposite to 6 then the remaining number will be opposite to that number right so this is the way you can easily able to crack all the questions from model number 2 so this one shortcut is enough to solve 100 percentage of the question and dice so be strong on this concept always remember that uh, you have to start the series only from the common number that is most important right so let me move on to the last model that is model number 3 so now entering into the last model that is model number 3 so here you can able to see that they have given two diagrams and there are two numbers common so just see here 3 and 3 1 4 and similarly 3 1 5 so you can able to see two numbers are common that is 3 and 1 so 3 1 1 is common here as well as 3 and 1 is common here so for in case if there are two numbers are common don't use the shortcut you can use the shortcut but it will be little bit confusing that's the reason i am saying do not use the shortcut if there are two numbers common so one property that you need to remind here is if two numbers are common right then the remaining number will be opposite to each other so four will be opposite to five got it so opposite to four which means five understood or not just think for example let we take uh, this white color as three so three will be this white color and this red color will be one in case if this number is three and this number is one we know that the number four is adjacent to one and three so number five is adjacent to one and three so if this number is three and this number is one so definitely four and five will be in this phases yes or no? so only we are saying that the number four and number five will always be the opposite phases if the two numbers are common then the remaining two number will be in the opposite phases got it on it's one of the important property i hope now you understood it right so here you can say opposite to four will be five so next so which number is opposite to three so we have to find the opposite to three so friends just see here we know that this number is three and this number is one so this will be four and this will be five so remaining two phases are remaining one is the bottom phase and second is the back phase and the remaining two numbers are two and six so we can't exactly say that number two will be at the bottom we can't say that because there is a chance number two can also be at the back side or else number two can be at the bottom face so we can say that the number that is opposite to three can be two or else it can be six so we can say that the opposite to number three can be two or it can be six 
there are possibles because we can't able to exactly say that number three will be opposite to two we can't able to say that because two phases are remaining and the two numbers are remaining so only we are saying that so two can be either at the back phase or at the bottom phase so our target to find which number is opposite to three so opposite to three can be two or it can be six so when this is the way you have to solve the questions from model number three and never forget this property alone right so most important property so four and five why it is opposite so once that's it about this type number two it is more than enough i have taught you all the basic concepts clearly as well as i have solved one one question from each of these models so after learning this type 2 type 3 type 4 etc and after learning the complete lesson of dice if you start practicing the question on dice you can surely able to crack 100 percentage of the question i guarantee it, right but you need to be very strong on the basics that's it right i hope you understood this lesson completely so thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much for watching it bye